Hi, I'm Tony, and I'd just like to show you a simple method of, for making a lock jig. This lock jig's for a zoo, bathroom, lock and latch set. And it's made from some 9mm UPV soffit. It's easy to cut. At the same time it's very tough. Right so let's get started and let me show you how it ends up. This will be your finished product. So this is your template. So I push runs round on your router. To fix it to the door it just slides on. These marks Correspond to your spinning holes. So once you slid it on the door, you've got two fixings in there to hold it. Both sides. Do your router in, your movie jig, and your spindle holes are pre-marked for you as well. So let's show you how we go about setting out for it. I'm going to have to move the camera down so you can see what I'm going to do here. This is a bit of 200mm UPVC. I'm going to cut it in half after I've done the jig. The shaded lines, the actual size of the lock. All you need to do is to find out the distance from your bush guide to your router bit. Mine's 4mm. So I've marked those lines on it. I've also put a stop rail for the rat to stop against so I don't go too far either end. And I'm going to use this Dewalt router. It's the 18 volt D26 2004. Great little router and uh, Right, let's crack on and I'll show you how easy it is. This material is very easy to cut, but very hard wearing. There's going to be a bit of noise and a bit of dust, obviously, so you just have to bear with. So that's the first stage. I've used my stops to route my two ends. Now I've got to do is put the router back on, on the guide, and just line the router up with my lines. Mine are all pre-marked to make things a bit quicker. Tighten it up.
as you can see, that's it easily. Take my little bumpers off. Next thing I'll do is I'll slice this side off and this line. I've worked out the centre of my door. When I screw my battens on, they will enable me to slide the jig straight onto the door like so. This jig's for a 35mm door. If you wanted a 45mm door, these would move out slightly. All you need is the measurement for the centre of your top spindle every time so you can mark off your door, put mark on the door, always mark the top because the spindles on the lock are different if you look from top to bottom. So you've always got to keep this upright. Like this will save you a lot of time, a lot of money. Believe it or not, this is so hard wearing that the router, unless you nick it with a router, this will last you for ages. It's the same principle on all sorts of locks. You need to cut this out with a knife if you've got the time. I've also made hinge jigs with these. And they work perfectly and they're so easy to make and they hardly cost you anything. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and uh, look out for some more of my stuff. Thanks. See you later.